What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. It is Thirsty Thursday. We got NFL football tonight. Can't wait to be live streaming this stuff. I'll see if my man Game Time Brian, with his postal attitude, will be joining us or not. But I got a question here because it's seems like the Eagles, the new darling of the NFL, the team that we face and have no chance in hell of beating, it seems like they keep getting away with stuff that the NFL just does not talk about. Because I'm trying to understand something here, okay? Now, now follow me if you can. A couple of weeks ago, I remember in the first half of watching the Eagles game and live streaming and saying to my man, Game Time Brian, I said, Jalen Hurts' knee is not right. And they're like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm telling you, there's something wrong with his knee. I could tell after having an amount of knee injuries that I've had, knee operations that I've had. I've had six. I understand knees and how they work and everything else. And I said, there's something wrong with it. Turns out the second half of that game, he was wearing a knee brace. And that week, we heard the coach say, well, he heard it in the game. So the coach admits he heard it in the game. Jalen Hurts says, no, we've been dealing with this for several weeks. Okay. Last week, visibly, we could see him up gimpy. When they did the tush push, he fumbled the snap. He was wearing a knee brace. So... Correct me if I'm wrong. That's some kind of an injury. We're talking about it not being right. We're talking about it being injured four weeks ago. We're visibly seeing him limping and so on. And I'm not wishing injury on anybody. So Eagle fans that are cussing me out right now, you know you are. I'm asking this question because how come Jalen Hurts, who admits that he heard it four weeks ago, this was last week. The coach says he heard it in the game. We've seen him up gimpy, but we don't see him listed on the injury report. We don't see him listed on the injury report. Isn't this an injury? Isn't this something that should be listed on the injury report? Now, here's what's kind of interesting to me. Okay, because it, it's kind of like the, the, the Pasana non grata. That we, we're not going to talk about it so it doesn't exist. So yesterday, Jalen Hurts walked out of the press conference when somebody asked about it, right? Here's the thing that's kind of interesting about it, because I wanted to see it for myself. And I went to the official Eagles website and watched the 11-minute press conference of it. And the last question that was asked before that was about A.J. Brown and how he's changed everything and yada, yada, yada. And he is an absolute positive beast. I will give you that. They hit gold when they got A.J. Brown. They were smart as could be. I have to give them credit on that one because without A.J. Brown, you're not the same team. Now, Jalen Hurts, who's self-admitted, he is a triple threat. One of those threats being his legs right now does not quite have that. All the talking heads are talking about that. So a reporter asked him about anything on the knee. He gets up and leaves. But the thing that's interesting is, is on the Eagles website, it's not in with the press conference. They edit it out. They act like it didn't happen. Now, here is I had to go to somebody else's um, clip here to get this. So here it is. Yeah, but Jalen, I got I to ask, any, anything new with the knee? Feel better, feel worse, different? Okay, that's what I thought. Thanks. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Child, I don't know why these media members keep embarrassing themselves. So Jalen Hurts left the mm -hmm. press conference. After the media member asked him for the 1,000th time about his knee. Okay, so Jalen Hurts doesn't want to talk about it is not listed on the injury report. So I'm trying to understand where the NFL, why the NFL hasn't said, um, hello, you're not listing a guy who's injured on your injury report. 
That's my that, that's my point on this. That is my point on this. If you have players that are injured, we had an injury report yesterday. Jalen Hurts wasn't on it. Jalen Hurts wasn't on it. Jalen Hurts wasn't on it last week. He wasn't on it the week before. He wasn't on the week before that. But clearly, he's injured. As this person says here, child, please, why do these reporters ask for the hundred thousandth time about his knee? Because they're not reporting what's going on. Now, from what we've been able to dig up, it is a bone bruise. Okay? A bone bruise is basically if you had your knees knocked together or knocked with somebody else's knees and you have a very painful swelling up issue that could be leading to surgery in severe cases. It's one of those one or two month type, you know, healing processes. But in my mind, as I look at Jalen Hurts from where he supposedly hurt it a month ago, where he was showing no signs of it to the timeline being this past week where he was physically Physically, you could see it in your eyes that he is definitely not right. He is limping. He is not running the football the way he normally does. And the Eagles aren't addressing it. I don't understand how they get away with not addressing an issue with an injury to your quarterback. There's betting and gambling and all that stuff that the NFL is partners with. And that goes to the stat lines and things when you're missing or have a player who is limited and clearly, you know, he's, he's going to go. And let me say, shout out to Jalen Hurts, who has been playing lights out with A.J. Brown with a hurt knee. I'm not saying that he's not. Sometimes a wounded animal is the most dangerous animal out there because it's got nothing to lose. And he's trying to protect that, you know, that, that, that injury. He's played fantastic. All I'm saying is, is the NFL should be saying something to the Eagles about them not reporting this. And again, could you imagine if it was the Cowboys with Dak Prescott? When you have people who are literally being put on the injury list because there is an illness, there's a cold. They're not necessarily missing practice, but there's an illness and it's being reported. And we have a knee injury and it's not. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Good people. It's Eagles Cowboys hate week. And uh, I'm not hating this week. So, as always, I appreciate you guys as we get ready to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm just kind of curious because I've been trolled all off-season by Eagle fans. All off-season. They were in here telling me how great they are. I ain't seen any of you cockroaches this week. Up everywhere. You get dizzy. You probably throw up everywhere. You have to do that thing. You get there, dude. All right, you need to stop. That's what they do. You get the movie and doing something else. Just stop. <clears throat> That's what they do. That's so why I have a friend. That's all, all, all time. I, all you hear from him. I know. I'm making it so obvious. I don't even pack anymore like that. Pause. But. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what it's called. It's called. It's called patching. Joey's <laughs> not even 